the clean, cold waters of Scotland's west coast. Perfect conditions for seaweed, and Peter Elborn is growing it on ropes below the surface. Get to January, the light comes back, nutrients in the water come back. Everything is there ready for these seaweeds to, to start growing really fast, centimetres a day. By May, when the seaweed is harvested to use in food products, it'll be two metres tall, and that growth helps mitigate climate change. As seaweed grows, it's absorbing oceanic carbon. This year, we would expect it to be um, a relatively modest at scale rat at the moment, so perhaps around uh, half a tonne of carbon dioxide equivalent that we're absorbing from the ocean. By some estimates, seaweed soaks up five times as much carbon as the same area of forest. Assessments of wild kelp suggest it absorbs more than 200 million tonnes of carbon globally. When we talk about capturing carbon, we often think about planting trees, but trees take space on land, land that has a myriad of other uses. Out here, there's no such competition. The seaweed here provides a habitat for fish and it cleans up the water. It is a win-win for the environment. But the environmental benefits are a happy coincidence. The driver for farming is seaweed's growing range of uses. In its open lab, Oceanium can extract protein, fibre and minerals. It's making a compostable bioplastic for packaging. And in future, seaweed could even replace oil as a source of building blocks for the chemical industry. You've got very cold habitats, very hot habitats. You've you know, got some quite extreme environments. And seaweed is, occupies all of those niches. So it's solved a lot of chemical and physical problems to survive. And that creates a diversity of chemistry and products that we can use um, and develop into things that solve our problems. Which is a, a thing called ASCO, Ascophyllum. The Scottish Association for Marine Science is setting up a seaweed academy to support the fledgling farming industry. It sees huge potential. At the moment, seaweed, seaweed cultivation sits at um, 30 million tonnes a year is produced. That's wet, wet. Uh, and what, yeah, what... Europe wants to do and other countries in Europe wants to do is double that by 2050. It's a new developing industry for us and I think it's one that yeah we have to be involved with. Seaweed farming doesn't let us off making huge reductions to greenhouse gas emissions but the carbon it captures could help the world reach net zero. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Oban.